Welcome to the Trash Picture Show. A couple of creature features starting off with the Critters Collection. I love these movies. They are kind of a staple of the 80s. A lot of people kind of overlook Critters because Gremlins, they see it as a knockoff of Gremlins. It is and it isn't. It's more of if you crossed Gremlins with Alien. I think that's the best way to describe it. About 60% comedy, 40% horror. Uh, essentially these creatures called the Krites come to Earth and they're these small carnivorous kind of balls of fluff that eat people and uh, they're followed by these two shape-shifting bounty hunters who have to destroy or capture the Krites and yeah the first two movies they're they're fairly funny and they're fairly entertaining uh, the second one the scene that always sticks in my head is when they all all the critters come together to make one big kind of critter ball and they, they roll over some poor bastard and he's just rendered into a skeleton. Uh, three and four, while not as good, they're still pretty fun and you got a bit of star power. In three you have Leonardo DiCaprio in one of his earliest roles. And uh, in Critters 4, which is a total parody of Alien, uh, you have Brad Dwarf and it's set in space. So yeah, good fun and if you have a couple of beers with your mates, well worth to check out. Next up, we have Razorback. Razorback's awesome. It's uh, an Ozploitation version of Jaws. It's set in the outback and there is this rampaging Razorback boar that, that's about the size of a rhino just decimating everything. Uh, this American ecologist comes to the region only to be killed so her boyfriend decides to hunt for her attacker and there's kind of a subplot invol involving some kind of really dickhead Mad Max kind of esque kind of punks and and there's there's almost there's also a kind of elderly quint like character he's a he's a he's kind of this old cantankerous coot who knows about um the razorback like he has this quote that's on the front of the thing it only has two states of being dangerous or dead so like he's eyeing to kill the giant uh pig um you don't get to see the razorback pig that much it appears one or two kind of scenes and it's either really far away or really close up. Uh, it's fun, it's cool, but I don't think it's as aged as well as other kind of B exploitation movies. Still pretty fun, if you get a chance and you're a horror purist, definitely check it out. Next up, this awesome Galero del Toro movie, Pacific Rim. Essentially, this is like a kaiju fan's wet dream. It's set in a, a, an earth where a kaiju come through a... a spatial breach in the Pacific Rim and it's up to uh, a bunch of operators who who fight in giant robots called Jaegers to stop them. Fantastic cast, Edra Silba, Charlie Hume, Charlie Day, there's there's a really good cast in this. Ron Perlman, I forgot Ron Perlman was in this, how can I do that? And uh, great visual effects, some awesome battles like there's, there's a bit where um, Charlie Hume's uh, Jaeger Gypsy Danger uses a boat like a sword to cut one of the uh, kaiju in half. Uh, there, some of the designs on the Jaegers are awesome as well. Uh, it's like Chernobyl Alpha, the Russian kind of Jaeger. It's it's like a Chernobyl chimney stack. It's fucking awesome. If you haven't seen this movie, do check it out. There's a sequel coming out fairly soon with uh, John Boyega. I think he's playing... Um, the son of Edra Selba's character, so it should be pretty cool. I don't think uh, Del Toro is involved in directing, he's probably involved in producing. But uh, yeah, if you get a chance, definitely check out that movie. And last up, the uh, Starship Troopers trilogy. The first Starship Troopers from Paul Van Horen is awesome. It uh, is It's a retelling of, I forget the name of the book it's based on, but uh, it's, it's a really famous book. Uh, which is a study on kind of dictatorship and militarization of society and essentially it's it's set in a, a dystopian future where if you want to be a citizen you have to join uh, the military, the mobile infantry and uh, basically it's it's three main teams uh, Casper Van Dien um, oh crap I forget her name Oh, bah, 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 bah. Denise Richards, um, Barney from How I Met Your Mother, and Dina Meyer, and they all go off and join the uh, mobile infantry. And 
The only reason that Casper uh, Van Dien joins is to get with uh, Denise Richards, and um, he 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 ends up regretting it when uh, his parents are killed back on Earth. But uh, he decides to try and get revenge on the bugs. Neil Patrick Harris, that's that's who the other guy is. He plays a kind of intelligence officer that was uh, a good friends with Johnny Rico, Van Dien's character. And um, yeah, it's it's pretty fun. It's what you'd expect from Paul Van Horen, a very visceral kind of gritty sci-fi kind of action here. Um, Starship Troopers 2 uh, was directed by Phil Tippett. That's one of the guys behind the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. Um, definitely a step down. Not as shit as many people make out to be. Um, it's essentially people stuck in a bunker trying to fend off uh, arachnids, the giant insect creatures. But also they realise that there are traitors in their midst. Starship Troopers Marauder. Christ, do not get me started on this. Starship Troopers Marauder is like watching a movie with a bunch of porn stars that don't fuck. Um, the acting is woeful. You've just all these pretty people. Casper Van Dien really needed money because he returns. And Jolyn Bullock from Enterprise is, is there with her, her massive lips to, to spout exposition. It's fucking woeful, guys. Um, if you can get the trilogy in a cheap, get it on a cheap. The third one is fucking gash. Um, there was another one that was CG. And there is a new one called The Traitor of Mars. Which uh, both Denise Richards and Van Dien are coming back to uh, reprise their roles. Uh, there was also a really good animated series. Uh, Starship Troopers Roughnecks. Uh, if you can track it down, definitely check it out. But yeah, that's my uh, creature feature video. Uh, if you have any suggestions on creature features or movies you want me to check out, like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. And yeah, have a good one. Take care. Bye now.